Hey, 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm your girl Suki. If you do, thanks for returning. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that beautiful not notification bell so anytime that I do a new upload, you will be the first person to know. Now, as you see in the title, when you clicked on this video that is about ColourPop, once again, they just keep coming out with, just keep throwing stuff at us, just keep coming out with all these collections all these collabs like it's really nice to see that they're trying to reach out to a, 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 a wide range of variety of people and what they just might like I'm really loving it now this collection right here I really loved it for the packaging and then when I seen the inside of the palette I was like oh yeah I have to have that I have to have that summer summer vacay you know tropical under the sun big hat like sunglasses glowy skin i really had to have it so if you guys really really want to see the rest of this collection and to see how it worked on me on your girl suki on my skin tone and my skin type all you have to do is stay tuned watch the video all the way to the end without further ado let's get into this video see what we got in the mail today as you can see this is another color pop collection this is the lush life collection yes tropical vibes baby you know they always give this right here and it has a thanks on the back and then this is the items we got right here we're gonna go ahead and go through everything first and then I'm going to give you guys some swatches of everything and then after that we're going to go ahead and do a makeup review on all these products. This whole collection was launched um, June 24th I believe. The whole collection was I believe $72 uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just go on the website because I don't know. Currently on the website they're not selling as a collection anymore but when I got it I believe it was $72 for everything in the collection. Now they're selling it all separately. It took a minute to get to me. I don't understand what's going on with the new collections. Everything's taking time to actually get to me. But it's here. I had it about a week now. Maybe a week and a half. I've been out of it. But I'm here today to give you guys these swatches. And just to give you this makeup review so you guys can see if you want to get it. I really thought that this tropical theme was so beautiful. Like look at this. It's so, so, so pretty like I freaking love it so let's go ahead and we'll do the um, eyeshadow palette we'll do that last these three here are the blushes and it is called the cheek do they call them the serum blushes cheek do and then we have here hibiscus passion flower star fruit so this is what they're looking like you have three colors do you guys see this It's the same size as a lip gloss tube like exactly the same size all right so the first one here is hibiscus the middle one is star fruit and the last one is passion flower so those are the three they're really cute that's all of them blended together. It seemed like it blends out very well. Like, it's not that bad. It also came with three Lux glosses. This is what they're looking like. I love, like, how the detailing is on there. See that detailing? It's really, really pretty, really cute. So these are the ones from the Neon Collection, and these are the ones from the Lush Collection. So the colors are different. All right, those are the swatches of the glosses. The first one is orchid the second one is Va vanda then the third one is peace lily i like peace lily a lot it's like a it's more like a topper to put over you know the color of it is more like a topper to put over your um nude lipstick or even a colored lipstick i think they're really really pretty they're very very oily and creamy i'm actually wearing orchid on my lips right now you can barely see it i only put on a little bit i didn't put on too too much and then we have their gel liners in three new colors they're really really pretty i like the packaging on these so those are the three gel liners the first one is two can do it that's this one here 
the second one is a glow and the last one here is canopy now with their gel, cream gel liners you have to keep in mind that they're so so creamy that if you press too hard you will break it like I did break one of them and I'm a little mad at it because that's probably lost you know so you have to be really really careful with their gel liners but they are so perfect for a base for an eyeshadow they're perfect to, for, to put under your lash line they're perfect to put in your waterline they're just so perfect like such such beautiful packaging all the packaging did have the same tropical canopy like you know those tropical birds vibe like they really did it with this collection i really think it's so beautiful it's so summery it's so i want to go on a vacation type of vibes so let's just go ahead and open her up it even continues like the beautiful print on the inside but just in yellow here she is she's so cute it's called lush life palette and this is what it's looking like on the inside let me show you guys from far away first what those colors are looking like they're so pretty and these are the colors close up they're really really pretty it's giving me like a natural look but also with uh, the pops of blues and the pops of you know like a um, green a pop of a you know more of a huh, how can I put it like a neon it's really really pretty I really like this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys so you guys can see all the shades in person because sometimes lighting can change things sometimes the way they take the pictures can really change the color of these palettes and make people not want to buy them because it's like mm, it's iffy used all this you know editing and lighting but we're not gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and swatch these out so you guys can see how they look all right so here are the shades here starting from this side we have eco wildlife it's paradise guava honest pom-pom juicy hideaway nor on the prow morrison and eden so those are the shades now out of all the shades this blue one right here i believe is a pigment because it stained my hand and it was super super powdery so most of these might be pigments pi most of these might be pigments but as you can see as you can see we have six shimmers and six mattes so the palette does have a total of 12 shadows so that's what they're really looking like guys all right now that we went over all the products in this collection we're gonna go ahead and just get into get into this look okay so i had already went in and filled my brows in i kind of went for a fluffier brow today i went in with ebony by anastasia and I also went in with um, with the brow freeze and then to conceal them I went in with some tart tape shape so yeah let's go ahead and let's get into this video first thing we're gonna do is put down a base that's just the first thing we have to do so we're going with the P Louise base this is in rumor 03 I felt like this would be perfect it's a little bit closer to my skin tone I'm gonna just go ahead and put this all over the lid don't go too close to the brow I want to keep that a little bit more natural and I am using my deluxe crease brush by real text techniques I want to go ahead and bring this color all the way over that way if we want to get over in there we can okay so keep that brush really close now let's get into these eyeshadows oh. I want to go on with my color pop e17 brush and I'm just gonna go into Madison Monsoon. I thought it said Madison. I can't see. It says Monsoon. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this um, blue shade, which is Monsoon. You see that? Do you see that fallout? You see what I'm saying? Like this one has fallout, so it has to be a pressed pigment. That is the color on the brush. It's really, really pretty. Let's see how she. Ain't no mirror in this damn palette. I'm not gonna do nothing too complicated. I'm gonna try to do something really simple. Oh yeah, it's it has fallout. Na, 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 na. Caught up in the rapture of you. Nothing else can compare. 
that is, that is a pigment i want to read the back because this it's even falling over here on this side and i'm just like what all right so now we have that first color down it's not perfect but it's down that's the whole thing you want to get the colors down first well, that's the way I do it. Let's just fix this side so it can look like the other side at least, right? I'm actually gonna use the same brush, yeah? That blue does stain, but I'm gonna leave it on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this green shade, which is on the prowl, and I'll put that right next to it. Like I said, we're gonna keep this look nice and simple. Something that everybody can do. That's the color on the brush really pigmented really pretty on the brush let's see how it performs on the actual lid I'm gonna put that right next to that color seems I don't know is it darker or, or am I tripping see what happens when you don't flatten out your base first it does shit like that all right I'm feeling like that color is almost the same. They have the same pigment payoff, which is nice. I'm gonna bring this color in just quite a bit. Well, oh, there, that should be good. Okay, now that we have those two colors down, I hope you guys can really see it. I feel like those colors are really similar. All right, now I'm gonna go on my ColourPop E16 brush, and I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and go into eco the shade here and I'm gonna blend out the edges of those colors yeah these this palette has quite a bit fallout like it really does I'm just gonna blend out blend up it ain't blended all right I'm gonna push it in first you might have to go back in with the color because I want to be able to blend this color out I want to blow it I want to blow this color out quite a bit so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right on top now that I have that down I should be able to move this product the way I want and go ahead and just blow that out with a light touch just a very light touch you can go keep going into that color and just blending that color out so if there is any harsh lines, like I said, once again. And this is what you're gonna come up with right here. All right, so now we have that blended. I wanna go back in with the colors and place them back down so they don't have that line of demarcation right there. So let's just go ahead and go back into and kind of bring it into the crease a bit and then blow it out using a very light hand so that that color doesn't get everywhere so quickly you want to gradually blend it out so you just want to go back and forth in between those brushes and just keep blending it's all about blending at this point if you feel like when you get close to the brow it gets too dark go back in with that lighter shade to tone it back down like so you see all right, so now we have that down. Let's go ahead and go back into that green color, which is on the prowl. So we overlapped it to the blue. Now let's, let's go back into the blue shade, knock that color off and blend the two together right there at the corner. With this palette, you really do wanna do your eyeshadow before you put on your foundation or anything. Cause it, like I said, it does have quite a bit of fallout. All right, so yeah, that's what we got right there. Now let's go back into the brush we used, the M173 brush that we used to put our base down. And let's go ahead and flatten out this area right here. Make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go into Pom Pom, which is that, oh, so pretty. I just, I wanna use it so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Pom Pom. And I'm going to use my ColourPop E21 brush. Let's see if she picks up on this brush. I don't know if it needs to be sprayed. Ooh, it's so pretty. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so pretty. Oh, 
Okay, now I got that color down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this juicy. It's a shimmer also. It's like the green here, but it's a shimmer. So I'm gonna use that in the center. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna put that, place that color right next to it. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, I love that shade. Oh, oh my god, I love it. The shimmers blend so beautiful together, like, so effortlessly. But shimmers usually blend really good together. So, this time I'm going to spray my brush. I want to see if the shimmers work better when you spray your brush. This time I'm going to use my E20 brush. It's also a ColourPop brush. I'm going to go back into Pom Pom. I'm going to see. Oh, yeah, she really picks up, like, whoa. Let's see if we can brighten up this inner part of the eye. I'm using this as my inner corner highlight. So we're gonna bring this all the way in. That's that's the inner color highlight right there. We don't want nothing else. Okay, at this point, you're gonna go back into that um, matte green, which is on the prowl. You're just gonna go ahead and kind of blend the shimmer with that color so it'll be seamless. And then go back into the shimmer and place her back down. You just wanna go back and forth. You really just wanna go back and forth with the colors so that they don't get lost. All right, so that is the top of the eyes for now. We're gonna go ahead and go off camera, finish up the rest of my face so I can come back and do my lower lash line with you guys and also do these cheek do's, which is a blush, and also their eyeliners and their Lux Lip. So I'll be right back. All right, now we have the lashes and everything on. This is the vibe it's giving. Cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on with the cheek dues, which is the blush. I'm thinking more alone hibiscus. I'm gonna go ahead and go on with hibiscus. I don't know if I should put it on the back of my hand to warm it up, or I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Oh, wow. Very, very liquidy. I don't even know how much I'm going to need. I know you can either use your fingers or like a beauty blender. I don't know what to do, you guys. I wanna rub it around on my hand first. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on my finger. I'm scared that I'm gonna mess up my makeup. Oh, okay, so it's not bad to worry about it's really pretty it's nice and and subtle it's very very subtle i don't know if it's buildable we're gonna find out in a second though it's going with a second layer let's see but you can clearly see it it's nothing really harsh oh you can see that <laughs> i'm waiting with a second coat maybe i shouldn't have done that this is from the Hello Kitty collection. This is Aloha Honey. I'm going to go ahead and set that. Because I don't think it's going to dry. It's still sticky. So I'm going to kind of set it. So that it can dry down a bit. So it won't be so shiny. Yeah. That worked out perfect. I went a little blush heavy today. But you know. Now let's just go ahead and go on with the eyeliners. I think I'm going to go on with this one right here. Which is... A glow warm it up on the back of your hand first because it really helps it to to glide really smooth all right um it's pretty but all right so now that we have our waterline done I'm just gonna go ahead and take the e19 brush it's also by ColourPop I want to go in with a bit of I'm gonna go ahead and go on with a bit of that blue. And I'm just gonna take it on my outer corner to finish connecting. Just a bit. I don't take much. My color is kinda of blown out, so you wanna make sure you blow it out. Alright, using the same brush, let's go into 
I really want to do these shimmers. I'm going to go into Juicy. With the shimmers, you... I keep thinking that palette has a mirror and it doesn't. Shimmers, you want to press them in. You want to get them in your eye. Really just press the shimmer in there. I want to take that color most of the way. Then we're going to go back in with the dark green and we're going to go ahead and kind of connect the two to blend them together. Now we're going to go attend to the lightest shade, which is the core, that shade that's right here. It's this pom pom. And we're going to put that on the brush. I'm going to go ahead and go and start in the inner corner and drag it down. Really put it in the inner corner this time. Really make that color pop and shine. Now, this metallic stuff, it gets all in your eyes. I shouldn't have put that there. I'm not really liking that at all. I'm gonna do that again. All right, now it's time for um, the Lip Lux. I went in with the BFF3 Lippy. So, I think I want to go in with this one right here. I really think this will go, but then it's like, ooh, this is giving me vibes. I'm going to go with this one. This one is Orchid. I'm going to go in with Orchid. Add a little pigment to it. See that little bit of pigment? You can stop it right there, or you can go in with another layer it feels just like it feels just like the other ones it doesn't feel no different okay so this is the finished look all right my ladies and gentlemen my final thoughts on this collection Let's start with the palette. The palette is beautiful. Like the shades worked out beautifully. They blended so well together, like just effortlessly. Like I like the palette. The palette's really good. Now the gel liners, not a fan of these metallic liners. Once you put it in your waterline, like separates all the the shimmers in it separates and gets into your eye not a fan of it so I ended up going in with the matte one which is this green one here and that worked out perfectly the cheek do blush not a fan it's beautiful on the skin you know I think it's more so if you're it's like a no makeup look like if you want to just put on you know a few items on your face I feel like this could be one of those items but to put it with a full face of makeup I'm not really feeling that so it's a maybe for me but they do work with no makeup it's so so effortlessly and so so beautiful but to be put like I said put it with some makeup I I could pass it's not a must-have now the Lux lip oils it's not a need but <laughs> If you do like a lip oil, you like something that's a little bit more, you know, comfortable on the, on the lips and not too greasy, not too oily, just like in between and not too like glossy. This is so beautiful, so perfect. You can make it glossier if you like, if you add more. I really thank you guys for staying tuned all the way to the end of this video to see what the end result was, to see how I even ended up with these, with these results. And I hope you guys really, really liked it. And until next time. Bye.